How police do their jobs has been under increased scrutiny the past few years. In Washington state, several bills to address police reform officially became law this week. Let's start with use of physical force. The old rule allowed officers to physically detain someone if they had a reasonable suspicion they'd committed a crime. Now the bar is raised to probable cause, a higher level of legal certainty. To keep our community safe, I prefer the reasonable suspicion. Um, approach. Vancouver Police Chief James McIlvain says probable cause can take time to develop and in the meantime we may have to let somebody that actually committed a crime but we didn't have probable cause um, to make that detention and make the arrest um, they may simply get away. McIlvain adds that the force restrictions may make domestic violence and even mental health crisis calls harder for officers to manage. The Clark County Sheriff's Office agrees. Sheriff Chuck Atkins put out a lengthy statement taking on many of the police reforms, saying our concern is that the new legislation will have some unintentional consequences that could put the public and police officers in jeopardy. I expect that people could see a reduced police response and extended investigations as a result. Other changes include banning chokeholds. The legislation says a peace officer may not use a chokehold or neck restraint on another person in the course of his or her duties. Also banned the use of military equipment in police work and big restrictions in how tear gas is used. Chief McIlvain is asking for community support and patience as his department does its best to adjust. We are not perfect. But we have done everything in our power to train our people uh, appropriately, put uh, policies in place that are fair to everybody um, to continue to keep our community safe. In Vancouver, Tim Gordon, KGW News.